joy. Grief. Celebrations. Births. Deaths. There are so many common family events and situations that need to be shared. However, if you used to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses and you have family who are still inside that religion, it isn't that simple. I got a promotion this week. I called to tell my dad he hung up on me. This week I had a miscarriage and I really needed my mom. She wouldn't return my call. My dad passed away last week. I found out through an obituary. I wanted to tell my children that I love them. Their father won't let them come to the phone. You may not know this, but those who leave the witnesses are separated from their loved ones in the cruelest of ways, through the practice of shunning. Shunning is enforced to such an extreme degree by the Watchtower organization that witnesses are given this instruction. Really, what your beloved family member needs to see is your resolute stance to put Jehovah above everything else, including the family bond. Do not look for excuses to associate with a disfellowship family member, for example, through email. As human beings, we thrive on the love and affection that can only be provided through the family bond. Social psychologists have already noted that within five minutes of ostracism, basic human needs are threatened. If this can happen in five minutes, imagine the torment inflicted on a person when they are shunned day after day, year after year, without so much as an email or text message. Every single day, around the world, families are being torn apart by this abusive practice, which is imposed upon Jehovah's Witnesses by the Watchtower Society. Family relations are a basic human right, and shunning represents mental and emotional abuse. It must be stopped.